The Last Supper is found in your Bible. It's Matthew 26, 17 through 30. But it's also talked about in John 13, 1 through 20, Mark 14, 22 through 25, the 1 Corinthians 11, 23 through 25, and Luke 22, 15 through 20. This window is the story behind the Last Supper. This cup re represents his blood, and then this thing right here it represents his body, or the bread. And then the rays coming down represents light. Many of you might wonder what INRI means. It means Jesus of Nazareth, the king of, the king of Jews. The disciples came to Jesus and asked, where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat for during the Passover? He replied, go into the city to a certain man and tell him, the teacher says, my time is near. I am going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. The disciples did as Jesus had directed them and prepared the Passover. Jesus was sitting at the table with the 12 disciples. He said, truly I, truly I tell one of you will betray me. They all, they all took turns saying, surely you don't mean me, Lord. Then Judas, the one that would end up betraying him, said, you surely don't mean me, Rabbi. Jesus answered, you have said so. He got up from the supper table, took off his robe, wrapped a towel around his loins, poured water into a basin, and began to wash the disciples' feet and wipe them with the towel he had around him. Jesus did it to teach them love and humility. If you look at verses 26 to 28, it talks about what Jesus does with his blood and body. It reads, while they were eating, Jesus took the bread, and when he had given them thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body. Then he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. The first Sunday of every month, we celebrate with communion in remembrance of Jesus. 